Hi, I'm here in Houston. I'm uh, sorry, messing with my computer to try to get it angled properly in the absolute proper lighting for me. You know, that's that's so important that I look good on video to me. Uh, I'm in Houston, Texas. Uh, I'm in a friend of mine's backyard. I've got a, as you can see, a magnificent backyard. I'm still on my trip to America, uh, and. I just talked to my friend Simon in Korea. He's set up that Nicole and I are going to go to a Zen Buddhist monk uh, retreat in Korea in June. And Simon's been a student and a co-worker and a co-creator with me for years and then went to Korea and had this magnificent experience. And we got talking about his future and he said, uh, he said, well, when August comes, he said, I don't have a clue what I'm going to be doing. And he said, it's the first time in my life, he said, I've been so anal about planning my life that I, this is the first time that anything like that has happened. And he said, I went to one of the Zen practitioners and said, asked them, and they said, yeah, this is kind of where you get. You get to where you don't know what's coming next. And I think it was Lao Tzu said, to know that you don't know is the best thing. And I drove down to Houston. I did a video going through the rolling hills of West Virginia and... Uh, it was, it's just, a, again, a magnificent country. I'm I, uh, curious about the people, uh, but uh, the country itself is magnificent. And I was coming to Houston uh, wondering, you know, I knew I had one thing, a couple of things ostensibly to do. I've got a motorcycle I'm going to send to Switzerland. People go, why don't you buy one there? Um, there's a bunch of reasons, so I'm not going to answer that. Uh, and I came to get my license renewed. But we have a house that we rent out here, and... I heard the swimming pool had gone green, and so I went over to the house, and I just started doing a couple of things, and my brother and I got the pump working, uh, which a man who runs the pool company didn't seem to be able to do. In fact, it was running dry and so hot that you couldn't touch it, and I'm absolutely fascinated with the incompetence of people. This guy has a pool company, and he that's how he makes his living. But all it was was a simple O-ring on a flange, and he can't sort through on how to fix that. And that's basically his job, is to keep the pool running. Uh, so uh, we went out to dinner last night, and uh, I ordered a margarita. We went to Wings. My brother said they're the best wings on the world. So I thought, wow, I like wings. And the waitress said, may I see some ID when I ordered a margarita? And I said, no. She said, well, we have to ask everybody. And I said, well, I don't have to show it. And she said, yes, you do. I said, no, get me a manager. So the manager came over and said, you know, I need to see your ID. And I said, no, really, you don't. I said, if you use your head and look. She said, it's our policy. And I said, well, here's my policy. Bye. And I walked out. <laughs> People are stupid. I, I don't mean to demean them. I'm fascinated by it. Uh, this American mentality of, gee, this is our policy and you're going to have to follow it really absolutely fascinates me. It doesn't make any sense. Uh, like I said, the country is beautiful. I don't know what's up with the people here, but I am one, so I can complain. Have a fun day. www.micpeakperformance.com